Hi, this is AJ from DoopExplore.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can translate your WordPress theme into your native language. So right here, I just have our total WordPress theme with nothing on it, and this is the 404 error page. So for this example, I'm going to show you how to translate this text right here from English to Spanish. So the first thing you want to do is locate your theme files, and inside the root folder, you should see a folder either called Languages or Lang or Locale. Those are the most common names for it. And it'll have the translation, or sorry, the translation files, which are the .mo and .po files for the theme. If you aren't able to locate it, just contact your theme developer and they should tell you where they are. So in my total theme, those are under languages folder. And as you can see, there's already several translations for the total theme. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make a Spanish one because we don't have that yet. Um, just to translate that to string and show you how it's done. So if you're starting with a theme that doesn't have any translations, you'll probably only see one file, either called default.po or whatever the developer chose to name it. And you want to copy that one. So let's copy it. And then you want to rename this to the locale for the language you want to use. So this website right here is very handy to find in the locale you want to use. See, it's got a specific column just for the WordPress locale. So if I want it, I want to translate my theme into Spanish, Spanish Spain. I want to name that file es underscore capital es. So let's go back and there you go, name it. Now to edit that file, you'll need to use a .po editor. I personally prefer and recommend PoEdit. It's free and it works really well, and I, it's pretty much what most people use. So I already have that installed, so I'm just going to go ahead and open that new file to edit it. All right, so with PoEdit, po you'll be able to see all the different strings available in the theme that you can translate. And so I'm going to translate this one. And all you got to do is select it and then enter your translation here. So, quebraste el internet. All right. And then you should see a translation there and then just update it. Okay, and save. All right. Now, if we go back to the live site and refresh, you can see it's not in Spanish yet. And that's because we haven't told WordPress to use the Spanish files. So all you have to do is log into WordPress, go to Settings, General, and scroll down to Site Language. And I'm going to choose Espanol. Save. And when I refresh the page, you'll see my strings translated. So all you have to do is go through and translate all the strings you want in your native language. And what I recommend doing is if you translate the whole theme to contact the developer and give them the translation file, that way it's available for everyone. But also when you update the theme in the future, you won't have to retranslate anything as well as you won't have to put the translation files in a child theme. 